What's going on guys? So I'm going to talk about the topic of ankle rocking and foot strength and how it relates to vertical jumping. And I'm here with my friend Belko who's actually, who's actually going to ask me some questions along the way. So let's get into it. What is ankle rocking? So ankle rocking is just basically taking your momentum or your body weight and shifting it forward into your next step um, with a sprint or a vertical jump or just walking in general. And why is this important? Um, so ankle rocking is important for, for I'm going to talk about with, with vertical jumping specifically, um, because in the approach phase of the jump, it's important to get as low to the ground as possible so you can gain, gain as much speed as possible. Um, so in that phase, you just want to be able to uh, get as low to the ground and, and gain as much force and speed. So like when a sprinter is coming out of the blocks, mm -hmm. he's low to the ground. Right. And then can you explain how that works exactly? Yeah, so it's similar to that phase, if you guys can picture like a, a sprinter in their initial takeoff of, in a sprint, um, they get low to the ground so they can gain that speed, and then as they start to, to gain speed and get to their top speed, that's when their body actually starts to shift vertical. So, so as, with a jump, um, if you're approaching a jump, you're going to be low to the ground, right? and then explain that movement. So you start off low to the ground, and then what are the feet looking like when you're right. approaching that jump? Yeah, so when you're actually approaching approaching a jump, you um, a lot of times you'll see minimal heel touch, and that is because you want to you want to transition from your weight from the outside of your foot to the inside of your foot as quickly as possible. So if your heel were to touch the ground in any of those um, in, in any of those steps, you would actually lose force going into your actual jump. Okay, so, so can you run through the entire movement from the beginning of the movement mm -hmm. of the run, like where you're approaching the run, yeah, to the end? So explain what the uh, ankle rocker is doing throughout that movement. So like from the beginning, yeah. and what your body position is. Yeah, so at the beginning phase or your approach um, in, of, the, of the vertical jump, you're actually going to be getting low to the ground similar to a sprint. And in, in that phase, you're going to be actually gaining speed. So that's why it's important to have an adequate ankle rocker or, a rocker or adequate ankle mobility so you can get low to the ground and, and continue to accelerate until you get to that point where you're just going to stop all that momentum and go vertical. And that is the spot that you're jumping from. And that's where your momentum is stopping. Right. And you're going vertical, meaning just upwards right, towards straight. the rim or, or whatever your, your target goal is. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And what is your ankle rocker doing when you stop all that momentum? Why is it important for it to have the flexibility and the mobility? Mm -hmm. So it's not so much at the at the last phase of the jump where it's important. The ankle rocker is more important um, in the initial phase so you can get again, so you can get lower to the ground. And um, that's important because if you were to have like a locked ankle, you wouldn't necessarily be able to get as low to the ground, which means you wouldn't be able to gain as much speed. Okay. So in the last part of the jump, it's more important to have ankle stability and strength, strength, so that way you can stop all of that speed and then take that vertical. So that's the all-encompassing, having the strength, having the flexibility, having right. the mobility. Right. So the mobility comes in on the approach phase, more approaching the, approach, the yeah. jump. And the mobility and the flexibility, mm -hmm. and then once you're about to jump right. towards that rim, you need that stability. Right. So there still would be the ankle rock in, yeah. the, in that last in the last two steps, but more or less it's going to be, or you're you're going to want your foot strength and stability to be adequate, so you can um, so your foot can act as like a tripod. Okay. And so how do you work on strengthening your ankle, and how do you work on these like ankle rocker mm -hmm. exercises? What, what kind of exercises are there? Yeah. So there's a common one that you can do, and it's actually just putting your heels together and doing like a calf raise, and that is just to mimic the cycle of your your weight shifting from the outside of your foot to the ball of your foot. So that's a common one, and then you can also do, I mean, calf raise is getting, but getting fully plantar flex, which means just getting fully onto the ball of your foot, and uh, again, mimicking that going from the outside of your foot to the ball of your foot. And how, how important do you think ankle rocker is, like in terms of a ver vertical jump, in terms of percentage? So if somebody uh, has very poor ankle mo mobility, flexibility, strength, mm -hmm. and if they nearly perfect it, how much do you think it can increase a vertical yeah. jump in terms of percentage, do you think like 10%, 20%? How important do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think it could be up to like 10 to 20%, meaning mm -hmm. like maybe even two to four inches, depending on where you're at with your jumping. Um, and that's because if you if you get it, if you work on your ankle rocker and ankle mobility, you're going to be able to get faster in those initial phases because mm -hmm. you will be able to get lower to the ground. Yeah, and that's just a rough estimate, like 10, 20%. Yeah. Um, a novice, right? Like somebody that's new to it, mm -hmm. they could see some huge benefits if right. there's barely any, you know, any flexibility, right. mobility, strength. Yeah. Um, okay. And that's why, that's why it'd be important for them, um, if you guys want to look at this for yourself, to just take a slow-mo video of yourself and your approach. I mean, even even do this barefoot so you could see how your foot is landing. And I'm going to put a, bit, uh, a little clip in over this so you guys can actually see um, a recording that I did of my feet and my approach. And it's, and you guys can see how the, the outside of my foot lands first and then my weight goes from the outside 
of my foot across my toes to the ball of my foot and then finally I push off. So if you guys see any compensations with yours, you know, maybe you have some leaking to the outside, which means maybe you're planting more of your of the inside first and then going to the outside. Like if you see that pattern, then, then that's something you guys can work on. Or if you guys see yourself being on, the, on your toes more, even in your approach, that's something you can work on. Or if you see that your ankles are locked, meaning you're not getting low enough to the ground in that approach, again, that's something that can help and, and help you gain speed if you increase that mobility. And uh, where, can, where can people find out more about the ankle rocker and how to strengthen it, flexibility and mobility? Mm -hmm. how, where can they find out more about that? Yeah, so if you guys have, have, has, have heard of Cal Dietz, he's talked about triphasic training, contrast training, and he's actually where I've, I've, I first heard this term ankle rocker and I actually watched a lecture on him. So I'll post the, the link to his lecture in the description and then also a couple more podcasts I listened to uh, relating to this ankle rocking and uh, foot strength. So um, that's, that's pretty much all I want to talk about in this video. Thank you, Velcro, for asking me some, some really good questions there. And um, if you guys have any comments or questions, just leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.